Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to the 7th of June and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the Exeter GFS and ECM Ensembles. Maybe we're trying to go weeks and we'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks and that will get us into the second half of June. I should get on with that for you in a moment just to say that the uh, summer forecast has been released today. So, uh, Gaz Web is summer 2023 uh, board Podcast is uh, is released. It's in the can um, and it's out there. So if you haven't seen it yet, have a look and see what we're forecasting for the summer of 2023. With low confidence, it must be said. Uh, now, no 6M uh, uploads. So I had a bit of a lay in uh, this morning. Um, and the uh, reason for that is that I did a three and a half hour charity live stream uh, last night. Thank you so much, everybody who made uh, last night's uh, one off charity live stream so incredibly special. Um, it was amazing. It was an amazing experience, an amazing night. Thank you so much to all of the guests we had coming on. Thank you so much to uh, Rich and Brian Gaze as well, which is short Brian Gaze, who, who did a couple of recordings uh, for us. And, uh, and you know, thank you so much to all of you um, who were on the stream uh, with me last night. We did something incredibly special, I think. We made, we raised a lot of money for Rainbow's Hospice. So let's just have a quick look at the Just Giving page. At the moment, it's standing at 1,560. The donations are still coming in thank you so much everybody um for all of your amazing 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 donations thank you so much to each and every one of you and i don't know whether that's like the final total or not so i'll leave it a day or two and then i will you know we will have a final a final total and we'll see you know uh where it comes in at but it's a phenomenal number uh, you know i i for didn't think we'd get anywhere close to a thousand, to be honest. So, so to be well over one thousand, one and a half thousand pounds, it's incredible. Thank you so, so, so very much to each and every one of you who have donated and also, you know, supported the stream. I understand times are tough, you know, so not everybody can donate, but people who support the stream and whatnot, you know, uh, and and uh, help help support what I was doing, what we was doing uh, last night, you know, amazing and incredible. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, you know, thank you so much to uh, each and every one of you. And we remember my mum as well. So, so it was a lovely, lovely stream. You know, sad at times. Um, we had a few laughs as well. You know, there, there were a couple of surprises also. Um, no, it was just, it was just wonderful. Thank you so much, everybody. And uh, yeah, I'm sort of having a day winding down today it's a winding down day uh right okay let's uh, crack on though with your 10 to 14 there so we're gonna have a look at centering temperature first of all so it is now sitting at 12 and a half degrees 12.5 which is 1.4 degrees above 61 to 99 average that is provisional to yesterday to the 27th of may these are the gfs upload temperature and precipitation ensembles when it comes to couple of weeks the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for milton kings again today starting off a little bit above average at the moment but uh, we will see both upper air temperature becoming even warmer actually over the uh, next week or so and then still that downwards trend as we're moving through the first week of june doesn't so things will start cooling down and reverting back closer to average once more precipitation wise lots of dry weather over the uh, next week to 10 days as well. Barely any measurable rain there at Milton Keynes, which is, I think, pretty reflective of many parts of the country over the next week to 10 days. Does get more unsettled with more precipitation spikes appearing or returning uh, as we get into the second week of June. Of course, that's a long way off. It's the same range. Therefore, it's unreliable. Um, so in the reliable time frame, which is the next week to 10 days, barely any rain to come. Temperature anomalies from the 28th of May to the 5th of June are coming out about average for England and Wales, but slightly below. And for Northern Air, it's actually a bit above average, so a little bit topsy-turvy of what we normally expect with warmer temperature anomalies in the north, and slightly cooler temperature anomalies actually down in the south. And precipitation anomalies from the 28th of May to 5th of June are significantly drier than normal as well. Next week, from that from Earth, no school dot net shows that high pressure is dominating weather sitting just to the west of Scotland today and bringing the wind from a northeasterly direction. So we're high and dry again today and will be remaining so clearly 
um, from the ensemble graph will be remaining high and dry uh, for the um, next week for 10 days. Right, so let's have a look at chart data then. This is our latest UK Met Euro Road. It's looking for midnight on Wednesday. High pressure right over top of the country at 1,035 millibars, bringing loads of dry, fine and warm weather with it. Into second half next week, again, the high pressure sticks over the country, sits over the country, and it continues to bring lots of dry and warm weather too. And that gets us all the way up to next Sunday, and there's no ch no change. High and dry continues with a 1,030 millibar area of high pressure in the ascendancy. I can't, again, that large area of high pressure right in over the top of the country, mostly dry and fine with that. The high pressure dominating through to the second half next week as well, and into the weekend, we're high, and, we're high and dry, you know, no change, all the way up to next Sunday with Icon either. Um, during, going through to the GFS midnight run, let's see if there's any sign of a change on that. High pressure again, sitting over the coach, you bring lots of dry and fine weather with it. That carries on through to next weekend as well. Beyond that, into the beginning of next week, the high pressure starts inching its way. Uh, away to the north and west, and so by day 10, we just starting to bring something slightly cooler into the far north and northeast, but basically high pressure is in control um, until we get to around the 10th of June, and then the weather pack starts to wobble just a little bit, and we might start turning a bit shower. it certainly looks cooler, um, and, you know, a little bit of wobbling is going on into the second week of June. I don't want to go over the top and say it's unsettled, because it's not really, even that, you know, would have quite a lot of dry weather. But it probably does turn a little bit more showery there as we go further on through the second week of June. But, again, I have to emphasise that, you know, that is a long way off, and, and it's not overly unsettled either, Matt, but it is cooler with winds in from the north and from the northeast. Uh, GFS 6 said, once again, that high pressure in control as we go through the middle and into second half of next week. High pressure just sort of easing north and northwest a little bit as we move up towards day 10. But still anticyclonic, you know, still high pressure in control. Winds in from like an east or a northeasterly uh, type direction. Low pressure flirting with the south there on Thursday, trying to move up from the south, bring some. Heavy showers and longer spells of rain. But essentially, that high pressure holds on. Uh, that load doesn't really go anywhere. And uh, and the high pressure just carries on <laughs> dominating weather all the way up to the 13th. Of June. It's almost up to mid-month. It looks like there's barely any rain through the first half of uh, June. Your prayer temperatures aren't spectacularly warm, but would be warm enough, certainly into the low. I would have thought probably mid-20s Celsius uh, with that. If you enjoyed the video, please think you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Weather this week. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. GM, again, with the high pressure right in over the top of the country on Wednesday. Bring lots of dry, fine weather too. That high pressure gradually easing further northwards and westwards, allowing something a little bit cooler to come around the edge of the high pressure from the north and from the northeast. But basically, we are high and dry right way up to day 10, which is Wednesday the 7th of June. Just size up the high is weakening a bit. There is a low over France, Spain and Portugal that's trying to drift northwards. Whether that would result in in like breakdown um, beyond day 10, you know, I can't really say. But I would have thought the most likely scenario of that actually is that this lower here would send a cold front uh, southeast was and behind that the air would start um, cooler and uh, more unsettled as well. So you probably won't get a fungi breakdown. We'll probably turn cooler and showery for the northwest. And then the ECM uh, looks like this. So again, the high pressure in control on Wednesday. That high pressure still dominates through Thursday, Friday into the weekend and on next week or the following week. You know, the high pressure just goes nowhere fast, sitting close to the country all the way up to day ten. There's not much to say, really, is there? Not much to say. Um, it's a precipitation forecast based on that. He said, run from tometeo.com. We'll go through this quite quickly, other than the odd little shower coming and going here and there. Basically dry for the next 10 days across most parts of the country, so not much to see there. And this is the option on the table within the ECM Ensembles Today 4 day 10, which gets us to the 7th of June. 51 out of 51 members of the ECM Ensembles, all of them with an area of above average heights, high pressure, out to the north and to the northwest, all winds coming in from like a north-northeasterly direction. So a lot of dry weather with that, but cooler air 
drifting in from the northeast, possibly by around day 10. But the emphasis is on dry conditions. Now, this is a bit of a change. So we haven't really seen much sort of a change throughout any of this update, but this is a bit of a change from the ECM ensembles. And 51 out of 51, so all members of the ECM ensembles are going for this by the 12th of June, placing area below average heights across the north and the west of Europe, which uh, is a bit of a, a bit of a shocker, isn't it, Matt? After all of the charts we just looked at, with the above average height, heights moving out into the Atlantic and up to Greenland as well. So obviously that would be a lot cooler, A, eh? We would be bringing wind from the northeast, but perhaps um, more interestingly, that would be more unsettled as well, with showers and or longer spells. Oh, but rain, we'll see about that. But, you know, that's quite strongly supported as well for, um, for being two weeks out. Lastly, a CFS V2, these are 500 millibar height and lines breaking down into week periods. The first week period takes from the 28th May to 3rd of June. The coming week is dominated by high pressure right over top of the country, high and dry in the weekend. Week 2 will be the 4th to the 10th of June. The high pressure just inching out towards the west and to the northwest. A trough of low pressure moving in over Scandinavia. Winds going into more of a northwesterly direction. So just don't turn that a little bit cooler. And uh, maybe slightly showery in northern and eastern regions, but basically the high pressure uh, remains in control. This is a change, though, as well. This is week three. It's the 11th to the 17th of June. The high pressure then is out in the Atlantic and going to Greenland. Trough of low pressure is across the north and the west of Europe. That is a change to something cooler and more unsettled as well. And then lastly, week four will be the 18th to the 24th of June with high pressure to our north and northeast. Low pressure is in the Atlantic. Um, so we're in between low pressure and high pressure. I suspect that's probably still a bit showery, actually, of winds coming in from off the Atlantic. But that high over Scandinavia will be trying to draw in like a warm easterly. That might be quite a warm scenario, that, between the low pressure and the high pressure. We could well be drawing the winds up from a southerly, southeasterly direction. Um, but perhaps a bit on the volatile side. As it's four weeks away, it's not really worth worrying about, is it? Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please can you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for dear man. Why not drop a comment as to say what you think about this and all of our videos? And don't forget to tell friends about Gaz Web is. I mean, thank you so very much, everybody, um, for doing that. So just to tell you that tomorrow, we're going to have the 6 in UK weather forecast. And it's back on in We've got another historic video coming up. We're looking at the summer of 2022. Good gracious me. Um, with that one. So uh, we're only going back to last summer, but what a summer it was. It is what worthy, you know, of a historic video, definitely. Um, and we'll be going over how we reached 40 degrees and uh, whatnot. So that's coming up for you um, tomorrow. On Tuesday, the 10 to 14 day, we'll be back. So I have a day off tomorrow, you know, when I release that. So uh, I'm uh, back with the 10 to 14 day uh, and the 16 UK weather forecast and the EC 30 day European outlook on Tuesday. So everything back to normal on Tuesday, but tomorrow it's my day off. And uh, and so, yeah, we're going to have a historic video looking at summer 2022. So if you're around the channel tomorrow, check in for that. Have a lovely bank holiday uh, Monday and for this one. That's all for now. And thanks for watching.